Imagine you are ordering a pizza online and type order details. The system processes your request to get pizza ready. Now what if someone add simple extra command with the order tricking the system and get all user data. This is what SQL injection is. In this video, we will solve this challenge and see safeguards against it. Let's get started. Go to the challenge page and it says this lab contains a SQL injection vulnerability in product category filter. This indicates that we should refine our search to category. To solve the lab, perform SQL injection attack, which makes website to display one or more unreleased products. Pretty simple and easy. Click on assess the lab and here we have this e-commerce website with number of products. As mentioned in the challenge page, vulnerability is in category filter. So we have to refine our search. Let's tap on gifts. There are only three products in this gift category and as you can see, it displays category equals to gifts in web address bar. Let's check whether it has a flaw or not. For this, replace gift with single or double quote and hit enter. Internal server error. This indicates that website is vulnerable to SQL injection. Now it's time to try the most commonly used SQL payload. Go to address bar, type quote or one equals to one, double dash, hit enter and it's done. Congratulations, you solved the lab. And earlier there was only three products on display and now you can see unreleased products as well. To safeguard against this SQL injection vulnerability, validate input, use ORM, that is object relational mapping, limit database privileges, and use web application firewalls. Thanks for watching.